Hi, I'm Sean Brown from Super Yacht News and I'm here with Ben Toff from CEA Industrial Design and we've just come out of the Domeless Design session of uh, the, uh, the Kymeta workshop. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, Domeless Designs, it must be amazing as a designer to have the opportunity to design something without having to plaster on a, uh, a big dome at the end of your initial kind of uh, mm. vision for the yacht. Uh, how do you see it? Thank you for having me in this interview. Um, so to me as a designer, it's always interesting to learn about new technologies and innovative solutions. And I've had my eye on um, Kaimita with their domeless uh, solutions since uh, 2013. And uh, I think it's really exciting to look at it from a different point of view. So rather than discussing about the future of uh, yachts having domes or not having domes, um, me with my industrial design background, I look at things like that as a technology uh, and uh, or te technology going through a certain uh, evolutionary process. Um, so if this technology really proves to be beneficial in the long term and more and more clients uh, will choose that technology over domes, then it will be us designers who will have to make the most out of it. And then we can step in on what it means in terms of the overall aesthetic of yachts in the future. And to me personally, I think it will be a huge benefit because uh, it will affect the overall silhouette. Uh, it will reduce a lot of uh, visual weight on top at the mast and around the mast. And you'll have uh, simply a lot more freedom to style around um, the mast or maybe uh, rethink what the mast really has to look like in terms of its uh, architecture. And that simply is a great uh, opportunity to really find out about new aesthetic values using flat panels. And I think that uh, it will probably be challenging to designers to really incorporate the technology early enough in the design process to have maximum control of the um, shapes. And then uh, it probably uh, create uh, maintainable cavities within the superstructure volume where you could then implement the uh, flat panels. And ultimately you're you're going to end up with a certain new um, form or a new uh, style of aesthetic influence. 